going on guys, this is Burrs. I'm gonna have Murr talk to you about his Alice pack and how he packs it and what he recommends as far as, uh, you know, putting together a rucksack. Well, I've been using a, <clears throat> an Alice type military ruck since I was a kid. When I was in Boy Scouts, I used a medium Alice ruck. And once I got to the Marine Corps, early 2000s, that was still like the best ruck. We had the terrible Molly ruck, which had a polymer frame that would keep snapping the field. At that time, it was either like, you would use a standard Alice or you would modify an Alice it's like where Mean Gene got famous with high speed gear was you could take your ruck out to the, the guy and he would modify it. He would cut pouches off, add molly webbing, add other pouches. And, uh, you know, there's a couple other gear shops that did that mod, but that's what a lot of guys did. So I always used an Alice uh, when the Arteryx design pack came out, the LV. I used that for a little while and I'm like, this isn't going to work for me. So for me, what I like is I like a large size Alice ruck. And then with molly webbing and smaller pouches on the outside. So if you look at like the tactical tailor rucks, they're essentially modernized Alice, Alice type rucks where they use an Alice style frame. It's it's following that theme, but it's you know just modernized, right? So this is basically mine. And what this started out as was a Coyote Brown large Alice ruck. It was an experimental pack uh, for the Marine Corps uh, pack program years ago. So. What I did was I actually sewed on this molly webbing myself. This pouch, this pouch, and this pouch were already there. Then I added two sustainment pouches I got like at the surplus store. And then you have molly webbing, like you put like my, my cleaning kit here or my strobe here in a small pouch. It's nice because then you can use whatever molly pouches you have to add to your ruck so you can customize it to your own needs. For me, the reason why I like a larger ruck like this because like when I was a uh, scout sniper platoon, we had to carry all kinds of stuff like radios and spare batteries. And you know, we weighed our rucks earlier and just coming out to do an overnight trip, I had 75 pounds in this. Well, that's like nothing. Well, that's insane for an overnight trip. Well, I'm used to carrying that much weight even as a little guy because half the time our rucks weighed at least 100 pounds, right? So it's it's not always how much weight you carry, it's how you distribute that weight and how, how it works out with, uh, with the carriage itself. So this is like a large molly, pouch it's my catch-all I'll put it like my flashlight my matches my a little bit of parachute cord some snacks miscellaneous crap in here then I'll put my water bottles on one side and I'll put my cook kit on the other I'll have my bungee cords and spare 550 cord my cold weather gear like my glove my beanie my scarf that kind of stuff so the stuff that I use throughout the day I like outside pockets for that I can get to those those items on the outside of the ruck. And at nighttime, when I'm setting down for camp, now I have my sleeping bag, my cold weather gear, like my Gore-Tex, uh, my extra warming layers, my, my chow, all that's in the main compartment because I'm not really needing that throughout the day. So that's like, everybody's got their own personal preference of how they want their ruck. Even in civilian hiking, I still like a military ruck for that reason over a more linear uh, civilian design where you're kind of going up instead of out. But that's just, uh, that's a personal preference thing. Everybody, there's no wrong way to carry your gear unless it's fatiguing you excessively and it's, it's not really comfortable. So that's my setup.